there? Well, they're just mad. Well, is it right for a Christian just to get involved in a protest of, of anger? If you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for, for righteousness, demonstrate to lift the yoke of oppression, demonstrate to help those that are, that are poverty stricken. Barack Hussein Obama! He ain't right, President people! Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. They can have my country when they pray it from my cold, dead hands! If you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for, for righteousness, demonstrate to lift the yoke of oppression, demonstrate to help those that are, that are poverty stricken. And I think their agenda is to slowly but surely take away everything that we've worked for. Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. Is it right for a Christian just to get involved in a protest of, of anger? We're kind of the ultimate check and balance, I suppose. I don't want a revolution. I don't want a civil war. Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. I would hate for that to happen. But it is a possibility. It's there as an option. Is it right for a Christian just to get involved in a protest of, of anger? If you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for, for righteousness. Demonstrate to lift the yoke of oppression. Demonstrate to help those that are that are poverty stricken. Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. There really is a is an element that's got these kind of outlandish conspiracy theories about death camps and and uh, about the you know this takeover. People comparing President Obama to Hitler. And that it really is a sizable threat. It's not just a couple of people on the edges. Is it right for a Christian just to get involved in a protest of, of anger? I mean. One of the things that we heard over and over again is that is that uh, it's sort of the the, uh, the death panels thing taken to several degrees past that. Well, they're just mad. Where the president's going to set up these 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 death camps where they're going to do forced sterilization. Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. And and and, and uh, that the government is taking over the internet to stifle you know speech and that there's going to be forced vaccinations. These are not things after 30-some tea parties. This is not one or two people. This is people that we heard over and over and over and over again. You know, really, there's just so much sort of disinformation or misinformation out there. Well, they're just mad. But in these towns across America that we went, it, it really is out there, Don. And if you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for, for righteousness, demonstrate to lift the yoke of oppression, demonstrate to help those that are, that are poverty-stricken. They're doing exactly what Robertson just advocated. They're demonstrating for righteousness. They're demonstrating to lift the yoke of oppression. And they're demonstrating to help those who are poverty stricken. Saying Christians shouldn't get involved in the 99% movement makes Pat. <laughs> And in Psycho Talk tonight, well, we got a double dose, double header, since it's almost the end of the baseball season. First up, Pat Robertson. Uh, here's his response to a viewer question about whether Christians should join the 99% movement. Why are they there? Well, they're just mad. Is it right for a Christian just to get involved in a protest of, of anger? We have to die! If you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for, for righteousness, demonstrate to lift the yoke of oppression, demonstrate to help those that are, that are poverty stricken. Barack Hussein Obama! He ain't right, President people! I believe God loves America. Mm -hmm. I believe he remembers the sacrifice of past generations and how they've stood up and how this country has been a beacon of freedom around the world. And uh, he doesn't want this country to go into chaos. It's heading that way, but uh, is the Tea Party his answer? It would be. Uh, it's almost like the, the humor of God that he's going to bring a bunch of housewives in <laughs> to change the government. Isn't that great? We're kind of the ultimate check and balance, I suppose. A bunch of housewives in. <laughs> I don't want a revolution. I don't want a civil war. I would hate for that to happen. But. It is a possibility. It's there as an option. <laughs> to change the government. Isn't that great? God, that he's going to bring a bunch of housewives in <laughs> to change the government. Isn't that great? And gave this characterization of what he has witnessed at Tea Party rallies. Let me tell you about these events. Yep, yep, yep. There's some disaffected Republicans there. Uh, there are always some Democrats there. Always a couple of anarchists who want to kill all of us in public office. But isn't that great? 
kill all of us in public office. To want to kill all of us. To want to kill. 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 Yep. Yep. But I'll tell you this: seventy-five percent of these people who show up at these events are the most average, everyday Americans you've ever met. But I'll tell you this, 75% yep, are the most average, everyday Americans you've ever met. Yep. Yep, always a couple of anarchists who want to kill all of us in public office. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I define peace as the ability to defend yourself and blow your enemies into smithereens. I define peace as the ability to defend yourself and blow your enemies into smithereens. I define peace as blow your enemies into smithereens. What I want them to know is just like John Wayne was from Waterloo, Iowa, that's the kind of spirit that I have too. The late actor was born in Winterset, Iowa, 150 miles away, and never did. John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer, lived in Waterloo. Before we get started, let's all say happy birthday to Elvis Presley today. Hey, his birthday is actually in January, and today is the 34th anniversary, anniversary rather, of Presley's death, so. I, I define peace as blow your enemies into smithereens. Blow your enemies into smithereens. Blow your enemies into smithereens. They won't see the error of their ways. No, sir, they will not. not, not the only chance we have as a country right now is for Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. For Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. For Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. I lied to the audience. 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 I lied to